Hi, I'm Don. Today we have an unboxing video from Creature Caster. I was expecting this Judgment Eternal Champions resin miniatures from Creature Caster way like around November 17 and it came very early. I received two boxes and there are 37 miniatures, basically 39 miniatures that Creature Caster sent to me. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. Also, I'm an affiliate partner with PK Pro, the biggest web store in Europe, and my top tier patrons get a 5% discount. Now, let's unbox these models. Whoa! <laughs> I got so many. I basically I got 17 resin models in one of the boxes and another 17 packets in the other box. These resin models come in multi parts and I had to assemble it. It took me around 3 days, basically like around 10 to 12 hours per day to assemble all the 37 resin models. And it was a bit tiring, but it was so much fun. These resin models are actually part or are the game pieces for Judgment Eternal Champions, the game, the first game, tabletop game by Creature Caster. These highly detailed resin models are basically the collector's edition of the game pieces and the models of the board game. But of course, there will be PVC versions of these models and personally, I would use those PVC ver versions for the actual gaming. The actual game, the Judgment Eternal Champions game with the PVC models and the tokens and the cards are not yet available, I think, at least during the filming of this video. Judgment is a two-player skirmish tabletop game with like a board game. I mean a board and then you have some dice and you have some cards and tokens and you battle it out with another player. Taylor of Creature Caster also told me that there will be a ton of retail for this board game, this tabletop game and I'm very excited because I should be having, I mean, we will have so much fun with this board game as I play this with my kids. As for the resin models, the details are crazy. The details are awesome. It's very sharp and I've never like built or handled a model, a resin model, this detailed and this really, it's really nice. So working with resin is a bit different than working with plastic. This resin, most resin are a bit softer than plastic and I kind of like working with resin because you kind of like it's easier to shave and easier to like create like your own sculpt when you're cleaning up some of the pieces. It's basically easy to shape and shave and you just need like super glue to glue them together and it's it's kind of super strong once you've glued them together also it's very important to clean the models with soap and water before you prime the models all of the models are very beautiful the details are very sharp and there's no warping or major warping at least and everything fits together very nicely so i had so much fun building all the 39 models and you also get a bit of extra pieces like extra bits for the other models basically option parts first before we continue i would like to thank all my patrons especially my gold tier patrons and my highest tier patrons which are my adamantium patrons they make this channel possible now let's look at 
all of the models in their really glorious assembled state and they're really beautiful they're very detailed the details are very sharp and it was a delight to build these models these assembled resin models are not yet ready for priming because there are a few gaps especially in between the actual model and the bases and a few gaps around the waist area just very minimal gaps but i cleaned the mold lines already which was made easy with my sab chisels and my art knife so and also the mold lines were very minimal or very like shallow they're not really they're not the the mold lines are easy to clean they're not like protruding too much they're not big and there were maybe just a couple of mold lines along the hair which was trickier to clean but again i have chisels to clean those up so it was no problem all of the characters are very well designed and as you can see there is a very nice balance of the composition of the characters there is no awkward poses and such and the details the faces and the armor parts and all of the elements of the model are very well represented and the casting is actually it seems impossible that there's very little warping and also all of the pieces fit perfectly together which is kind of weird for this size because there's i mean if you fit the small hands to the arms the 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 fit is perfect and it's so easy to like put them all together except maybe for some of the models with tiny arms like really thin arms and my basically my fat fingers were having a hard time holding them so i had to use tweezers maybe a couple of times models like this miniatures like this could actually paint themselves <laughs> imagine just airbrushing some like sketching with the airbrush of the main colors and then like apply a ton of washes and because of the details and crevices the the model will basically paint itself however these are collector's edition resin models if this were the pvc counterpart which are for the tabletop the actual tabletop game i would do a bit of batch painting of these models but since these are really high quality resin models i will never do batch painting of these models because i want to like spend a bit more time on each and really give my best effort to give justice to the sculpts of these models some models like this barnascus is perfect to paint with pre-assembly like I paint it pre-assembled but I decided to just assemble the whole thing and let's see some of the models have option parts this one Kogan I use the flipping hand and the standard hand would be the pointing hand but I decided to use the flipping finger Thorgar is very big, it's very chunky, it's actually, it has a lot of weight to it because it's a solid resin model and it would be so fun to paint this soon but I think I'll paint the smaller ones first. Hmm, or maybe I should let you guys decide which of these models should I paint first. So let's do it. Um, please a comment below and say or write the name of the character that you want me to paint first, and the character, of course, with the most like comments or votes is the first character I'll paint. Since this game is a fantasy game, like for example, this one Rakir, he is an orc, 
most of the models are orcs and minotaurs and hmm, elves and demons there are a couple of humans i think but most are elves and there are a few orcs and stuff like that but there are most like maybe half of the models are kind of like demons and there are a few dwarves and all of them should be really fun to paint i'm really excited to paint these models because as i've said even in my old blogger or blog before i'm a huge fantasy guy i'm a huge lord of the rings like fan i have like I think when I computed the amount of like peso that I spent on the action figures for Lord of the Rings, I spent almost a million peso on all of my Lord of the Rings figures. I do understand though that a few people uh, or even long time subscribers of this channel know me for the gunpla modeling and mecha stuff but to be honest I really like fantasy a ton more than mecha and sci-fi stuff. Don't get me wrong guys, if you let me, it's just that if you let me choose between sci-fi and fantasy. I'll choose fantasy in a second. So as I've said, these models are not yet ready for priming. I will do a bit of pottying and check if I missed a mold line or a peg or something and basically do a second round of cleanup and then I'll wash the models again with soap and water and then once the potty uh, well of course I'll, I'll wash after the potty has cured and then after washing i'll let it dry and then i'll be ready to prime all these models after priming i'll be putting these models aside except for one model that you will choose in the comment section that you want me to paint already but the rest of the models I'll put aside because I'm waiting for my new cuttlefish colors and I want to paint the rest of the models with those paints. The cuttlefish colors are also from Creature Caster but it was shipped separately by Ryan the chemist and painter that created the paints and I hope to receive those paints around next week or maybe in a couple of weeks then after that we'll be painting a ton of models with those paints so needless to say i am basically i've announced this at facebook instagram and twitter i'm now officially partnered with creature caster and expect a ton of painting of the really awesome miniatures here at my channel and as usual, PDF guides and longer workshop format videos will be available at my Patreon. I hope you like this video. I do highly recommend you get if, if you're like not sure to get a creature caster model, just get one, one of the smallest and cheapest of their models and try it out and you are you're like it's mind blowing. The details are great the balance of the composition and the dynamic poses are really awesome that's it pancit that's it we're done i hope you like the video do like comment subscribe and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our discord community saludos